Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Meghnath. In this module, we will learn how to use conditional operator. So in the previous module, we have seen how to write a simple if else condition to check whether the number is even or odd. In this lecture, lecture 9, we will see how to check the number is even or odd using conditional operator in a single line. So let's get started. Let me open code blocks and this is lecture 9. So I'll click on File, New, Empty File and I'll save it as, click on Save. And I'll be writing here 9 dot even or odd. But this time we are not going to use if else condition but we'll be using conditional operator. So let's see this now. So include stdivo.h and we'll write include, so remember C language is case sensitive include conivo.h void main is a place where program execution starts int input so we'll read the values from the user so printf enter any number and then we'll write scanf scanf percentile d comma ampersand input now we are storing this number in the variable input so we'll store the value we're reading value from the user now so we have already written using if else condition like this if input modulo 2 is equal to 0 we used to write printf we'll write even and we'll write else else printf odd number now the same logic can be written using conditional operator so all these four lines can be written in single line using a conditional operator so let me comment these four lines and let's see how we can do that so I'm just commenting these four lines because uh, we are going to learn conditional operator. Now, now how to write a conditional operator? See here the comments are like um, multi-line comments you can see here. Those are bold green. So I don't want this to be in bold green. So let's go to settings. Ed, um, let's change it to settings, editor, and go to syntax highlighting comments okay so this one I don't want it in bold and I don't want it in light color I want this to be in just light color okay so that's fine so let's click um, let's click okay so you can see here um, it's been um, in light color now we'll learn how to write how to write a conditional operator so let's see this so all we have to do is let me remove this code now four lines of code now all we have to do to learn about con conditional operator is we'll write like this. So just put brackets, input modulo 2 equal to 0, question mark, and printf even, colon, printf odd. So that's it. So we've just written four lines of code into a single line. So this is the general syntax for a conditional operator. So we just write the condition. If the condition is satisfied, the statements immediately after the question mark will be executed. If the condition is not satisfied, the statements, so if the condition is not satisfied, the statements after this colon will be executed. So this is the general syntax for a conditional statement or conditional operator. So we write the condition followed by question mark and we write statements which needs to be executed if the condition is true, colon, the statement when the condition is false. So in this case, in this case you can see here, if this condition is true, this will print even number, and if the condition is false, this will print odd number. So let's see now. So so I'll write here get ch. And conditional operator looks to be very simple. And uh, for basic if else conditions, you can definitely go for conditional operator. Let's save it, and let's build it. And you can see no errors. Let's run the code. I'm entering here number 9. So you can see it's printing odd number. And let's run the code once again. And this time I'll enter number 12. You can see it's printing even number. So this is how we write a simple conditional operator in C language. So so in case instead of simple if else condition in four lines you can just go for this if you have a basic conditional checking. So I hope you are clear with conditional operator. And in the next module, we will see how to write a switch case, right? So thank you.